Alright. Uh, okay. Who, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? Playing Hearts with our Europa Universalis. <laughs> Well, I've already played as like Castile and Aragon. That was nice, but you know, you could try being France. I could be Castile. Sounds like a real. I could... I don't want to be Naples. But the problem is Naples starts off uh, in a personal union with Aragon. Ooh. So you're not right. Your... So I need to be. If I want to reform Italy. I've got to be someone else. Yeah. You do want to reform Italy. <clears throat> Milan's good for it. Uh, tricky though. Just difficult. But if I'm. I could be Genoa. Italy, yeah. They have some nice salami over there. <laughs> I do love me some of those. Milan. You can't be Aragorn. I've formed Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Starting is <as> Aragorn. <laughs> Uh, but Milan, Milan's solid for it. I th I think uh, I'm gonna do Milan. Okay, I'll be a big, big country to help, and I'll probably be France. Actually, I'm gonna be the Diviet again. That that went well last time. <laughs> that went real well. <laughs> do I want to be France, or do I want to be? England. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't invade Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Lose your 40k stack. Alright, so I should explain to the people on the stream. Uh, we are obviously playing Europa Universalis right now, so this will be another series for the channel. We are going to be continuing our Hearts of Iron playthrough. It's just today, Scarecrow. Uh, was feeling like taking over Europe in a different context. And in that one, we have moved on to... We finished World War II. We're going to be fighting the common turn next time. Uh, but for this, we are just going to start fresh every day. With a smile, we're on our way. What? That's right. What, That's uh, our motto. Commercial is that? No, I, I don't think that can be our motto without getting sued. Oh. That's not our motto. All right. Uh, I'm ready. Let's ready up. I think I'm ready. I'll just be oh shit! Not ready. Nope, nope. Not ready. I clicked on a, <laughs> clicked on another state. There we go. Hey, now you ready? Now I'm ready. Let me uh do uh change some stuff here. No, oh, so so we're not ready. Lucky nations random. We'll do. We won't do a random new world. We'll use. We'll keep Canada in the game just for you. Yeah, but I'm not playing as uh, someone who's likely to be a colonizer state. Uh, let's create a team. What should our team name be? <laughs> team Awesome. Team Awesome? <laughs> I always heard about them in my history classes. When Team Awesome unified Italy? Okay, I created Team Awesome. How do I? I think you just click oh, on the flag. click on the flag. Okay, got it. Yeah, click on the flag. Join Team Awesome. I'm gonna. Tr I'm not sure if I joined it or not. Here we go. There we go. I think I had done ready. All right, you're still Milan. I'm France. Okay. There seems to be a tasty little Savoy between. <laughs> So I have more experience with this game than I do with Hearts of Iron. Uh, still only about 30 hours, which with uh, Paradox games is barely enough time to learn the main screen menu. So... <laughs> oh look, I can see everything you're doing already. Treaty of Tours has left Western Europe with an uneasy truce, one that looks like it could break at any time due to the ambition of the kings of France, England, and the Duke of Burgundy. In the north, the Kalmar Union remains in place despite the deposition of its Pomeranian king by the Hanseatic League, as well as dissident Swedish and Danish nobles. The Russian states are barely starting to feel the 
uh, feel free of the Tartar yoke, as the Golden Horde continues to fracture ever since its crushing defeat at the hand of Timur. As the High Renaissance approaches, Italy and Germany remain fraught by constant friction between the Emperor and the many autonomous princes. What a fun way to start the game. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played this, too. Too few rivals. Uh, Switzerland, Ferrara, and the Papal States are our rivals. Let's say... Switzerland already hates us. Yeah. Who cares about the Swiss? Been saying it for years. Do I really need three rivals right off the bat? America Ferreira. <laughs> Ooh, Denmark with a disputed secession. Succession, not secession. That would probably be disputed as well. <laughs> uh, so I guess that means we're always already in an alliance. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to try to influence you again. Stuff. Can I break it. I cannot huh? dissolve, can't break Team Awesome. Alliance with teammate Milan. So if we wanted to use the strategy of forming a coalition against each other only to turn against them, that strategy's out the window. <laughs> Correct. We played ourselves. Broken game. Not esports ready. What an esport this would be. <laughs> okay, Montferrat. You guys kind of like me, but... You're a Savoyan vessel. Vassal, not vessel. And... Okay, so they're just... Savoy isn't really... interacting with other people very much. Other than the whole Holy Roman Empire thing. Yeah, you're, uh... You'll be whole, you'll be in the HRE until the Shadow King and Inventful Fire around fifteen hundred. Or I can just click the Leave HRE button. You could do that. That's I think that's the easiest way to do it. No, it's fine. Being in it, it's not gonna do anything to protect you from hostile invaders for now. Yeah, like France. <laughs> like France. You want to uh, fabricate claims on Mantua and Brescia from Venice for now? Uh, I can build a spy network first. We have one more diplomat left. Uh feel about I feel like claiming some of this salami. So I'm gonna build a spy network there as well. And all that manpower no leader we need a leader he is not a great general oh well what's my my royal family looking like right now <laughs> they are absolute garbage it's okay <clears throat> you uh you have no air your ruler's old. In, uh, the perfect couple situation. <laughs> in a couple, well, it is for you because in a couple years when they die, you'll have the option to become a republic, Ooh. which you should take because you want to be a republic. But then, won't people decide they ha they can have opinions? Some, but you'll be just kind of like republic in name. You'll still be able to 
you know, stomp on the peasants all you want. Oh, thank We're, God. It's the 1400s. Yeah, come on. Everyone's doing it. Let me know when you're ready to... I was born ready. Start her up. Ain't no time like the present, or 1444. We got our boys drilling in the north. Uh, ooh, missions. Is this... I think this is new. That is probably new for you, yeah. So I, I own zero DLC for this game. Uh, so I basically just play with Scarecrow because he has... Oh, well, that's the only reason I ever play anything with Scarecrow because he has all the DLC. Yep. And... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> the Mariath one is now infertile. That's... <laughs> that's yeah, the so, ideal. Uh, I have all the HOI DLC, but with this, we haven't played in a fair amount of time, so there's been a few new DLCs released since then, all funded by uh, Steam trading card sales. <laughs> the Knights have joined a train against us. Nope. Excommunication? I've been what? excommunicated. What did you do? I didn't do anything. That's clearly not true. I mean... Alright. For years now, the Imperial Authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Excessive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states, and large areas that are formerly part of the Empire have been lost to Venice and Papal States, who reject the Empire's right to rule them. Unless Northern Italy is firmly brought back to the Empire, the states may slip out of Imperial control. Uh, unless the following areas are entirely part of the Empire before 1490 and stay there until 14, 1550, all Italian states will be given a choice to leave the Empire. Interesting. Took the words right out of my mouth. Ooh. Manchu, oh. Uh, what are you what are you debating there, sir? I was being called to arms. Yeah. The the English have declared war. The English declared war on you. Correct. What a bunch of bastards! Right. The Milan like will do its now. part. The banking clan will sign your treaty. <laughs> Milan doesn't actually have to do anything. You're fine. Ooh. 3% army professionalism. I mean, we don't have to do anything, but we can choose to for our part of the spoils, which will be nothing. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go back to drilling. You guys seem like you got this. <laughs> A marriage offer proposal thing. Little do they know my king is infertile. Jokes on them. Uh, I was looking at all my policies. It's actually really annoying. They declared war on me. That means I can't declare war on them. Those pastors. That's how they. That's how they get you. Ah. Uh, ruler has administrative skill of at least two. Well. Well. Uh, <laughs> uh, wasn't there like an exploit to get basically unlimited imperial authority? Because you just set rights to nothing, and then change something, and then you can set rights to nothing again, and then change something. Yeah, but I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure that one's not a thing anymore. Oh. It was such a fair mechanic. I mean, we can go back, uh... We can roll back a couple patches if you want. <laughs> no. Well, this, uh, this last DLC was about India, right? Correct. 
Okay, so when we get all the way across the map, it's going to be more fun. Did you get it? I did not. Oh. Well. Reviews were less than positive. It's also $20, so. Ooh. Gotta wait for one of those sales and get some trading cards yeah. out of here. That's right. I'm, in, I'm at 15 some in the wallet right now, so. You can sell more, our PUBG crates and get PUBG. 16. Yeah, a couple more PUBG items, I'll be good to go. How's uh how's this war looking? It's fine. The English have no troops on the soil yet. And they have no allies in the war, so that excommunication really Sorry, right. hopefully the Pope dies soon. <laughs> Fuck that guy. That old 1444 song, Fuck the Pope Lease. <laughs> <laughs> My 11,000 troops are just <laughs> drilling up right now. <laughs> Someday we're going to be called to war. The world better be ready for it. Can I make you part of me? Not you. Manchua. Oh, oh, oh. What do you mean, make them part of you? <laughs> I want them inside me. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to see if I can play the long con with them and... And what? Incorporate them into my territory. Just annex them. Or just invade them and take their stuff. Yeah, but they're allied with Baden and and me, so that would. Wait, you're allied with them? Yeah. <laughs> stop they it. They could stop. Oh, they just asked for it. You're like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, England just asked to invade you, and you said okay. What? Hey, you can't do that, Ferreira. What did they do? very cash money of them <laughs> they, they fabricated claims in parma those bastards oh shit i don't even know where they are Oh, I'm a bad player. I'm what did you do? Bohemia, and I didn't. Oh, time. Classic misplay. Classic misplay. That's. What do you hate when you get to the end of that island? You're like shit. Quite unfortunate. Right, do I want to focus on that? I may as well. Dynastic actions. I guess I don't need a spy network. It's what, 10 years after you break an alliance and then you can invade without forming a coalition against you? Uh, I forget if it's 5 or 10. Uh, when you when you break the truce, it should tell you, maybe? I don't remember. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's based on, like, the length of it already. Oh well. I'll just... These guys seem to be Looking to start a fight, so. Which guys? The Ferrera people. They're touching me. They claim to have places their own. They hate me already. 
I mean, you, you have an old infertile ruler with no children. Who doesn't? Yeah. Well, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Hey, you better fire skill for a general. Hey. Hey. What's the going on? I'm going to add another Latin medieval military dude. Uh, nobody's rebelling. That's always good. That's nice. Milan gets a lack of demand for local goods until 13th of May, 1456. Minus 0.25 local goods produced. Regrettable. And we're no longer the seat of a cardinal. He was loyal to me? What a... What a shit show. <laughs> France has a 100% chance of being the next pope. Or yep, controller. That's why I need that guy to die off quick. How do you have a 100%? So... I spent uh, <clears throat> five papal influence, papal influence, or did I spend, yeah, I spent five papal influence to uh, get a better chance. And I'm the only one that spent anything at all. Influence. Yes, correct. So, uh, lose 10, nah. I guess we're okay with prestige. So I can, no, we're not, but <laughs> I was looking at the wrong number. Uh, I, I, I'm going to ignore the nobility demand, I guess. A little bit of unrest. But I've got 12,000 men ready to put down a nobility revolt. <laughs> Check how that's... Uh... They're still at 50%. Oh, 40%. Never mind. The English haven't even attempted to land troops on mainland. That's out of character. Ooh, I should have just granted them a generalship earlier. That would have been... Let's recruit a minister. Minister of what? Of... <laughs> Diplomacy. Ah. This interaction is available because of always. There you go. Pretty cut and dry. Can we do it? Yes, it's always. Is not always. What? Okay, free advisor slot. Let's see. Anyone we want? National tax modifier. That sounds like it could be worth the one gold coin monthly. Or production efficiency. One gold. Hmm. Just died, Pope. Is that your speech to the papacy? <laughs> All this manpower. I can get my entire army killed and replace them immediately. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Oh, well, let's so for your troops. Well, they knew what they were getting into. <laughs> so, how's the, uh, how's that war looking? Fine. I'm going to siege down Calais, their last province on the mainland. Oh, just did it. And my truce with Venice just expired. Nobility have lost the influence I just gave them, so that's fine. Truce with Corfu has ended. Our truce with Naxos has ended. And we've gained the Humiliate Rival Castle spell against Venice. We can humiliate our rivals by taking the capital of Venice. We need a Yagalon as their choice of action. What a twist. 
<laughs> what a twist. Uh, where's that whole power rankings thing that this game has? I missed that in, uh... In Hoi. The... The thing that tells um, you who's... Who's the top? The top yeah. dogs? Uh, up, upper left corner next to your banner is a tiny... Oh, view the great powers. There we go. Banner. Thank you. So, I'm not up there yet, but someday... Someday, Italy might just be. Uh... Okay, can I fabricate some claims yet? Who was I fabricating against? One's in Milan. And one's in Pereira. Okay. I have made peace with England. Fine. Due to our invaluable assistance in their wars, France now owes us one favor. <laughs> what do you want for it? I don't know. Can you just pick up some groceries or something on your way back? <laughs> Royal marriage. I'm pretty sure last time we did this, you ended up being able to claim my throne, but you... <laughs> that is what you very kindly didn't. <laughs> okay, we now have a claim on Medina. Who are you allied with? Bohemia, the papers. Me? No, uh, these guys. Oh. Who are these guys? The uh, Ferrarans. Ferraris. Do you have a claim on uh, Venetian territory yet? Uh, no. I am. I'm I have about no to go possible to province America. to claim. Yeah, you do. Uh, Brescia. Well, when oh, I hover over the thing. On it. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It's where's that? Oh, because it's now? considered one of your core provinces. That's why. Diplomatic map okay. mode. Yeah, diplomatic will show. Uh, your claims. If it's uh, got green lines yeah, across instead of yellow, that means it's, it's uh, core. extra special already. You're considered your territory. Every territory I have is Cory territory. Because I'm going to declare war on Aragon. They are allied with Venice. Ooh. So we can get you that core back. I'm just gonna stop my dudes from drilling so they're not gonna be yeah get them taken get by ready. surprise. And I wish I had enough information that I could see how many uh middle happy little guys they have. Venice has seventeen thousand standing troops. Where's a uh... power? It's in the uh, ledger, the bottom right corner. I remember this now. It's all coming back to me. They do have 17,000. You weren't lying. I was not lying. I will send over 19,000 of my own troops, both to fight against Venice there, but also Naples will have an army, I assume, that'll come up through Italy. Hmm. I just recruited a few extra. Uh... So we are... I'm still net positive, so... We'll see what happens when I get those extra... But they're going to die off, too, so... Who cares? Who cares? Not me. I took that strategy in Stellaris today. Built up way more than I can afford, but because some pirates sprung up, I ended up not being able to invade as fast as I'd hoped. And everything went horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Ireland Part 2 in space? Basically. Build to the force limit. Completed the mission. Thriving arms industry for 25 years. Just in time for a war. You ready for a war? I am so ready for a war. Alright, let's take... 
I'll get Castile in on this, bring in Milan, and let's take Silly. Let's do it! Here we go. I think they can only get in through the line here. I don't think they have military access through any of these other countries, so... They probably don't now. They, they'll likely ask for it. I should be in uh, Verona by then. And what are they going to do? Go in boats? I don't think so. The Venetian army is, in fact, going around. I wonder if I can catch these guys. Ooh, I could kill that 7k stack. Just stay right there. No, you jerks. <laughs> They're sieging my land. My people. <laughs> Our people. <laughs> If X Men came to Florence, man, he's just and the machine on a trip. <laughs> this man is a threat to national security. <laughs> Got to take him out. <laughs> Papal states are right there. It's just a short trip. We've discovered someone building a spy network. Those dirty Austrians. Alright, I... Go ahead and siege down uh, Treviso. Okay, there. I should split this army in half if I'm going to do that, I think. Unless I'm Actually, misremembering yeah. how that siege stuff works. Meet up in Modena. Medina. I'm fighting. We can fight them together. I have to go all the way around. Oh, really? Sorry, yeah. I think I'm gonna win it anyway. Yeah, they don't they're not the most uh <laughs> inspired people. I'm just gonna hang out here because then they're gonna end up walking into me. And I can just crush them. They're gonna retreat to Venice proper, I think. D am oh, I misremembering no. how this works? The attrition when you're sieging stuff if you have too big of a stack. That is how it works. Okay, so I should split this again. You No, because you need the minimum. There's a minimum required to actually siege it. So if you click on that siege, you can see you need six okay, regiments yeah. to siege. So you always take some attrition when sieging. But... Yeah. I have still 13,000 manpower, so... You have plenty of extra dudes just waiting, chomping at the bit to get at those Venetians. They're blinded by their hatred. That's right. Alright, gonna take back Parma. Soon that extra influence will be Parma gone. Hmm. Oh, there's people. Uh oh, there are people coming. There are people coming. Get over there. Uh oh. Oh God! There's a uh -oh. lot of people coming. Uh oh. Where were the French in our hour of need? <laughs> thought you said you could handle it. I thought I could. But my people were separated. It's 
So as soon as I see you down, Luca. How do I group these guys again? Gee, once you have them both highlighted. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Uh-oh. That's a fight you win. Maybe. No, we, we weren't at full Spanish morale when it started. The Spanish are coming. Maybe the French are coming. Win. Hey, I won. You did win. Showed them the what The French are cutting floor. off their retreat. I just wiped half Venice's army there. If you want to siege down Treviso again, I'll leave my French right. right next to you. Well, I have uh, both my stacks together again, so Ooh. before I had 8k. Burgundian inherit inheritance so soon. Ooh. Unfortunately, Austria got the low countries, but that's okay. Ooh, why is the state cautious towards those bastards? Obviously, the best part of this game is seeing what the names turn into. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> and the shapes they make. That's like what, ninety percent of the AU4 subreddit? Yeah. I don't know, I'd, it's just something about map simulators that really, really speaks to me on a fundamental, personal level. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing those colors change. Seeing the names expand. Seeing my armies get consistently stack wiped. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can They're... piece Luca out of the war. Those Venetian fucks are up in, <laughs> up in France already. Luca's mid siege. Are they really gonna wanna peace out? Yeah, because I I've already sieged down their capital. But they're claiming a new capital in Leo. <laughs> yeah, they're out of there. My Duke. They're out Duke out accepted of there. peace. Their former enemies, France. Fine! So angsty. Uh, Told you about that mod that changes all uh, Duke references to dude, right? <laughs> My dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you did. That's great. <laughs> My dude, we have lost the siege. My dude. <laughs> My guy. Is this uh, all the same culture? Yeah. So, I guess it's core, so it should generally be the same. We'll have to change all this Phoenician culture. <laughs> I think you can handle it. It's all considered Italian, so yeah. once you form Italy, there'll be no uh, negative modifiers for it being a different culture. Yeah, I need admin technology at least 10, though. Yes, you'll get that uh, early 1500s. Need Genoa, Medina, Verona, Mantua, Firenze, Siena, Roma, and Ancona. Easy enough. Easy enough. And who's a tributor? In independent. Okay.
you want to go deal with those Aragonese in your territory, I think I'm okay here. I do, but I don't. Oh, never mind. Venice is coming. They might have more coming. than that. There's a 10k stack there. I don't know if it's... No, it looks like they're just going to stand there. Yeah, they... Ooh, we can go kill them. You won the siege. The Renaissance? Countries that have not yet fully embraced the Renaissance? We'll get bad stuff. Crushed them. Uh, where's the institutions? Ooh, where did it spawn? Did you get the spawn of it? No. Uh, Sienna did. That's on a per province level, right? What do you yeah, mean? The institutions. Yeah, so it spawns in one province, yeah. and then the Renaissance can should. happen in any Italian country. Yeah, because you're in Italy, you'll get it really quickly anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's see how willing Venice is to get out of the war. Let's see how willing my troops are to get yeah. into Venice. I need a boat over there. Yeah, put your troops in Treviso. And just have them hang out. I'm entirely landlocked. This is unacceptable. I'm going to send my boys to go deal with the Aragonese. Your boys? Uh, how's Manchua looking with people? Improving relations with their allies. You're still allied with those nerds? Yeah, I'm gonna dissolve that. Where's my other dip? Uh, Ferrara. Oh, right. These ones. Get out of there. It's not worth our time. Dissolve this alliance. And then we'll break the royal ties. I'm getting uh, divorced. Don't do that. <clears throat> yet. It costs stability. Oh, screw and that then. <clears throat> your guy will die off soon anyway. Hmm. Unless you're a uh, Curia controller, and then you can divorce at will. Oh, you got some. Some challengers for the papacy. Yeah, I know. I got a one in three shot now. Go to the Papal States. Those fools trying to control their own destiny. Makes me sick. Where do they get off? I'm going to turn down army maintenance a little bit, because I don't think they're actually going to... Eh, I can afford it. Are you above your force limit, or are you... A little bit, I think. Yeah, you should probably just... Yeah, what... How much... I'm probably one unit above it. Probably just get rid of one of your units, then. It, it costs a lot to go over force limit. All right, I'm going to kill these ones off. Turn to your homes. So I can kill you. <laughs> All right, I think I'm about to end the war here. Where is the force limit? Said... Yeah, 16 out of 15. 
Uh, don't get it rid of it. You might uh, get a force limit upgrade after this peace treaty. Aragon rejected our generous peace offer. What a bunch of jerks. Wait, is is uh, Venice up for a separate peace? They are not, but they are willing to give Brescia in the combined peace. Okay. That's all I really care about, so. Yeah. I mean, I have 90 gold ducats and... Two cats. Gold to cat. The Star Trek reference. Oh, okay. 